Hi everyone. Today I would like to talk about how you do feng shui activations correctly. And that's because I do get a lot of questions about how to place a water feature, what exactly needs to be done in what sequence, and how to do fire activations. So I thought I'm going to give you a very quick and easy step-by-step guide on how to actually do this. Now let's start with a water activation. So the first thing you need to do is stand in the center of your apartment or your office or wherever you want to do this water activation, actually find out where you need to place the water. So usually a feng shui master would tell you, you will have to place the water in west one, west two, south three or whatever. And in this particular case here, um, the feng shui water activation is done here in northeast, northeast, northeast one and northeast two. Yeah, so this direction is likely given to you by a feng shui master or by whoever does your feng shui. Maybe you do it yourself, but this direction is a given. So um, it can be anywhere in your home and it can also be anywhere in this pie slice. Yeah, anywhere here. Sometimes it's a little bit more than that. Sometimes it's less. Yeah, if a feng shui master tells you in Southeast three, then you can only do this particular pie slice. Sometimes it's the entire Southwest, for example, in which case you just use this entire big slice. Whatever it is, just listen to your feng shui consultant to know where you need to place it. So I'm not going to explain the where much longer because this is individual, but now how and what you need to do. So for a water activation, the first thing is you place the container in the particular sector. This can be a very simple water bucket. It can be an aquarium, whatever you want to use, not a table fountain because table fountains do not hold enough water. Yeah, so it needs to be a good sized water bucket that holds at least 15 to 20 liters of water. And as I said, a plastic bucket is perfectly fine. So you take this bucket and place it empty into the sector that's been indicated to you. It has to be empty, put it there empty and place it there before the date and time where you need to activate it. Yeah, so put it there first. You also need a water pump, as you can see here on the right picture. So this water pump is something that you can buy in any aquarium store. It doesn't have to be a big pump because really all it does is to just create water uh, air bubbles in the water. Yeah, so you need the water bucket and the pump you place them in the sector that needs to be activated prior to activation date and time. Yeah, you place the pump into the bucket. And then once the activation date and time arrives, you fill the bucket with water without taking the bucket away from the place. So you take a small other container and you just walk back and forth between the sink or the faucet and, and then just pour the water into the bigger bucket. You should never fill the bucket with water at a faucet or in a, at a sink and then carry it to the activation site. The bucket must be there prior to it. And then you just go and fill it up with water. Maybe you have to walk several times or maybe you just fill a separate bucket with water, walk over to the empty bucket and pour it in. Yeah, this is how it is being done properly. And then once the water is in there, you switch on the pump. And this will then make the water moving, which is what we need whenever we are, uh, whenever we're required to use a water activation method. Now, you don't need to leave the water there for the rest of the year or whatever. Usually the feng shui master will tell you for how long. Very often it's just for a short period of time of let's say two to four weeks. Yeah, you leave it there. And then once that period of time is over, you switch off the water pump, you take the water pump out and then you take the bucket away. Very, very simple. But key is to put the empty bucket there first, then fill it with water, yeah? All right. Now, the next one is for the fire activation. Again, the feng shui master or feng shui consultant will tell you where you need to place the fire. 
And then again, you place the candle there prior to activation date and time. Now the candle does not have to be any particular color. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's red, blue, white, or whatever, just a candle that is safe. Yeah, safety first. And because fire activation is usually done for two to three days, it would be great if you had a candle that actually burns that for that long. Yeah, so usually the IKEA tea lights, they last for six to eight hours. Um, and they're not so ideal for a fire activation. So get a bigger candle that burns for two to three days nonstop and place it in the particular sector that needs to be activated prior to activation time. And then once the activation time comes, then you light it. That's it. And after two or three days, you remove the candle and the sector has been activated. Now, what's important and what is what most people forget is that once you activate a sector, you can't just walk away and think, oh, now it's activated. I don't have to do anything. You need to follow the activation up with action. So whatever it is that you had that you have activated, let's say it's a wealth corner or a wealth energy that you've activated. By merely activating it, uh, you're not likely to just going to expect money to fall from the sky. It's not happening. Uh, it never happened to me. It rarely happens to anyone because what needs to follow is action. So once you activate those wealth energies, you need to do something wealth related. Maybe you meet with your financial advisor or maybe you make a business plan or maybe you launch a new product or service, or you do something that attracts more clients to you. Do whatever it takes that is related to the activation that you've just done. Because just activating the energies doesn't, um, is, doesn't uh, fulfill the, the full requirements of a feng shui activation. Activation always has to be followed up with personal action in order to be 100% successful. So I hope this helped answering some questions. Um, if you would like to know more, if you have more questions, then contact me. My contact details are here or in the notes below. And please like, subscribe, and share this video with all of those lovely people you think may benefit from it. See you soon.